going to be critical to get a good start. You've got to pass about 10 cars early in the race or you can't win this race. Starting lineup for the second of the Mopar Twins, Josh Wise will line up on the inside of row one. Steve Payton in the zero will start on the outside pole. The top 10 are in the first nine. Second nine after the winner are inverted to make up the top 10. Your second row, Aaron Fike and A.J. Fike. They finished right behind one another the brother act from Galesburg, Illinois, in the McGladrian Pullen cars. Row three, Bobby East and J.J. Ailey, teammates in Steve Lewis's Beasts. Dave Steele, who won the $50,000 bonus last year, inside the fourth row with Casey Kane, the quick qualifier tonight, starting eighth. Fifth row, Michael Lewis, who finished second in the first feature, and Jay Drake in the 71 car. Row number six, Teddy Beach, the Beach Boys, 25, and Jason Leffler in the 40. And in row number seven tonight, here in Irwindale in the second feature, Jerome Rodella in the 25, Ryan Scott in car number three. Row number eight, Ryan Durst from Lincoln, Nebraska, and Phil Durst, 51. Former national champ Dave Darlin from Indiana in the 82 car, starts 16. Row nine, Tom Hester, the third from New Jersey in the five, 16 years young. 10th row, Richie Jacobs in the 14. Johnny Rodriguez has one of our onboard campers in the 30 car. And the 11th row, Bud Koenig, Brent's son in the 57. And Michael Simpson in on a USAC provisional from the Western States Midget Series. The 12th row lines up this way. Wally Pankratz, the great veteran in car number 8. And Van Neal from Utah in car number 43. And shotgun on the field, the winner of the first 25. In car number 11, Tracy Hines with all that bonus money dangling in front of him and in front of his car owner, Dave Argerbright. Let me ask you, what changes did you make to the race car in between? We were so happy with the car. We really didn't make a lot of changes, a small few things, a um, set of new tires, and uh, we're feels we're ready to go. Can he do it from all the way dead last? Well, you know, obviously we're the only ones with the opportunity to, to do that, but it's a, it's a it's a long road, and uh, it's pretty difficult. There's not a full invert, so uh, we're going to need a few breaks, maybe a few yellows, misfortune for other people, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Well, that's a, a good optimistic attitude. 50 grand, I hope you can do it. Back upstairs, guys. Greg Wilkie looking on, his driver Tracy Hines getting in line for the four wide start. The salute to the fans. They'll line up two by two for the green. What's going through Tracy Hines' mind right now, Larry Rice? Well, he's trying to figure out how he can get that good start. He knows what's ahead of him, and he knows he's got a lot of fast cars up there. But the, as we said just a few seconds ago, the start is going to be critical. He's got to get by at least eight or ten cars in the first lap. He's got to be running tenth by the end of, uh, say, three or four laps, or he really is not going to have a chance because we know it took Michael Lewis all 25 laps to come from tenth to second. So he's got to get at least up to 10th very quickly. Well, Tracy Hines is a veteran, former national champion. He's won races coast to coast, not just in midgets, in sprint cars and silver crown cars as well. Dirt track driver primarily years ago. He's really committed to his own on the pavement and had the fastest race car the first 25. But the thing that he's got going for him, he is very technical. He's a lot like Dave Steele. He sets his own race cars up. He knows what that race car needs to go fast. And he was very worried about it, as we saw right after the first race. Fans are on their feet. Fireworks go into the sky off the backstretch here at Irwindale. Never been to this place before. I've called some races from here, but never actually seen the racetrack. They talk about it being a short track that thinks it's a super speedway. It really is. Beautiful facility. We're glad we're here. Yeah, they've Cars got warming up, getting ready to get down to business here tonight at Irwindale. Yeah, as they pull out of that four abreast back into the two abreast, they're uh, trying, using that to get a little heat in the tires before that green flag falls. Now, Tracy Hines went with sticker tires on that 11 car. Are you surprised at that choice, Larry? No, sticker tires are normally faster tires, even though you, you have to guess as to how much stagger you're going to have because these tires do grow a little bit, and you have to account for that when you put the, the amount of uh, tire pressure in there. But you must... You must put on sticker tires because they're just always faster. Now they've tied the yellow ribbon, not around the old oak tree, but on the back of the roll cage of Hines' car to let the fans know he's the guy to watch as he makes progress through the field here tonight. Well, and lining up, and Tracy will start 25th. Yes, and it's all about the fans. you got to let them know what's going on here. Uh, you know, most of them are going to know anyway, but this just makes it a little easier to pick him out when he's working his way through the field. Steve Lewis and his PRE group, they've really put on a great show for us here tonight. A lot of pageantry. They brought the 
Brinks truck. They actually uh, Loomis Fargo truck out on the front straightaway a little while ago to show fans it had the check for the fifty thousand dollars on board payable to Tracy Hines if he can score the double tonight here in Irwindale and there's another aspect to this this is the second USAC National Midget race of the season after Phoenix and Larry a lot of these drivers are thinking okay I can't win the bonus but I want to run one because I'm going for a national title sure there's uh, 10 or 15 of these guys here that would like to win the national championship some of them just here for the money either way you want to win this race safety car lights are out diving into the infield ready to go green 25 laps of green flag racing to put the cap on our Mopar twin 25s tonight at Irwindale ready to go glad you're with us on speed we're underway Josh Wise got a great start he jumps out in front and he got a nice lead going down the back straightaway Wise is your early leader in the 94 three wide as they run the corners here at Irwindale he runs right down to the bottom of the racetrack. That's not the place that most of these guys have liked the best, but it seems to be the place to do the passing. But he's running down there while he's leading. A.J. Fike up to second. Take a look at Tracy Hines in the 11 car, picking his way. Three wide up in turn three. And you can see he's got a lot of trouble getting through the traffic because they're running two and three wide in front of him. He's having a, a lot harder time picking these cars off than he would really like to have. Get an onboard look from one of the cars that Hines has already passed. Johnny Rodriguez and Jay Drake carrying our onboard cameras. Up front, meantime, Josh Wise trying to hold off a couple of the Steve Lewis cars. Now that's AJ Pike running in second place, but uh, JJ Yaley and Bobby East right behind him, those two white number 9 and 19. Josh Wise doing a great job, even though he's running the bottom of the racetrack, which most guys don't like to run this early in the race, but he's holding everybody off. A.J. Fike bidding for the lead, but Wise is able to stay right with him now. Now Casey Kane has moved up. He's right in that mix. All three of those white number uh, 9, 19, and 91 cars, you want to call them right number 9. Oh, contact! Contact on the backstretch. A couple of cars get together. Two of Lewis's cars get in the wall. That is the 9 of Yaley. I believe he collected Bobby East in that spin. Yeah, he certainly did. It was contact, and it's Tracy Hines oh. is in it, too. Oh, Tracy Hines. I was just about to say, Larry, in five laps, Tracy had gained 10 spots. He was up to 15. Well, and that's exactly what he needed to do, but he certainly didn't need this. This is a tough, tough break for Tracy Hines. Hines has spun up in turn two. The wreck happened going into three, so I wonder if Tracy broke something on the race car. He was not in the mix-up we saw no. up in three. Two completely separate incidents. Whatever happened to Tracy had absolutely nothing to do with uh, the incident we saw on camera up in turn to number three. Those guys uh, made contact coming off of turn two, going down the back straightaway, and led to that big melee going into three. Lap times here are only about 17 and a half seconds. We caught a couple of glimpses. It looks as though the rear end might be bent, bent in Heinz's car. Let's take another look and try to get a glimpse of what might have happened to the winner of the first feature. There's the tangle, the spin, the 9 and the 19 getting caught up. Yeah, you can see that uh, Yaley got over a wheel, and it turned him to the right. Oh, and here's Tracy Hines. He just spun out. Uh, you know, it didn't look like he made contact nope. with anybody. He was just all his own. Back on speed, J.J. Yaley back on the racetrack. They fixed the nine car, Tracy Hines restarting at the back. A.J. Fike is the restart leader, 20 to go, battling into one. And there is J.J. Yaley and Tracy Hines, both cleared the back of the pack. Yaley, Kelly Drake did a heck of a job getting that car fixed in just a couple laps and back on the racetrack. A.J. Fike is your leader, Josh Wise in the 94 is second. Bobby East in the white 19 is third. Dave Steele, they fix the problem on the 29th car. And here comes Michael Lewis up to fifth in that silver 76. Yeah, those guys all battled each other quite a battle up there early in the, in the front of this field. And yet, you're right, it does look like Dave Steele's got that race car a lot faster this race than he had at the last one. Down into three. Bobby East up for second in the white 19. Steele now third as they trail A.J. Fike out of Galesburg, Illinois. Tracy Hines trying again. Remember, he made five. He in five laps, he passed 10 cars. Has to start from the rear again. You think he could do this like Danny Sullivan and spin and win? Yeah. That would really be tough. 
trying to work his way by Dave Darlin. Now, normally, that would be a tall order. Darlin's first ride, though, in this 82 car, working on Jerome Mordella now. Yeah, he, uh, you can see right there, once he got around Darlin, he, he drifted up the racetrack. He does the same thing with Mordella as he drifts up the racetrack after he passes him on the bottom side. Tracy with clean racetrack in front of him. He's up to 11th spot in the 11th car in five more laps. But he's got a long way to go. Nobody near him right now. Of course, the farther up in the field he gets, the faster the cars are, the harder this is going to be for him to pass. And that's, that's one of the really tough things you want to do. 14 laps are left. One car drops down on the inside. Out in front, it's still A.J. Pike in the 69. Bobby East trying to hang on against Dave Steele. Steele really with a good run going. Yeah, Steele's giving him everything he's got. He's running that bottom side, trying to get around him. But uh, so far, Bobby East has stayed in the group. He stayed on that high side, and that's where he likes to run. Halfway this time by, 12 to go. We get the cross flags at Irwindale. You can see that Steele, he's trying to get down to Irwindale. Bobby East got a little bit loose coming off of two that time, but uh, not enough to let Steele get around him. Michael Lewis, Aaron Fike rounding out the first five. A.J. Fike is the leader in car number 69. Bobby East running way up the racetrack. We told you at the top of the broadcast, most of the guys here say the fast way around is up high. What's Tracy Hines up to? Well, he's working on Teddy Beach for 10th spot right now. But he's in heavy traffic, Larry Wright's 10 to go, and he got almost taken out there. Yeah, Teddy Beach got real loose, wiggle right in front of me and get hard on the brakes. But you can see that he was uh, half a straightaway behind those guys. He's caught all of them, but he's just running out of laps. Tracy Hines from the back of the pack twice. He gained 10 spots in five laps before spinning. When the caution came out, he had to restart at the back again. He's worked his way well up in the pack now. He's up behind Josh Wise, who was the early leader. Here's A.J. Fike continuing the lead in the 69 car. And A.J. Fike has built a good lead. Eight to go. We're going to take a quick timeout and be right back for the checkers at Irwindale. Welcome back to Irwindale Speedway, the USAC National Midgets on Speed with Larry Rice. I'm Rick Benjamin, Dave Arkerbright downstairs. A.J. Fike leading the second of the Twin 25s. Second to Bobby East. Third to Dave Steele, but Michael Lewis putting pressure on him and goes by. Yeah, Michael Lewis just looked like Steele pushed up towards the wall. And Lewis just took advantage and went right on by. The longer the race goes, the better Michael Lewis seems to work. Bobby East in the 19 in second spot. Lewis trying to track him down in that 76. He's up in third. Where's Tracy Hines? Well, he is up to seventh, but we've got five laps to go. Yeah, he's really been gaining on it, but he's just going to run out of laps. He's passed a lot of cars, but uh, a lot of them he had to pass twice. A.J. Fike, the leader, putting lap 21 up on the board. Four to go. Here comes Hines. Up to seventh, but he's got open racetrack in front of him, and that's not good news. Give him sixth now. He gained a spot on the last lap, but there's nobody close to him. He needs a caution. He needs a yellow flag very badly. He hasn't been one uh, since that first one that he was involved in, but he can sure use one right now. And look at Michael Lewis down to the bottom. Working lap 23. There will be two to go this time by, and Lewis to the inside for the lead. Boy, he comes right up, and he moves it out of the way. A.J. Mike had to just move up the racetrack ever so slightly. And the longer the race goes, the stronger Michael Lewis gets. I don't think Tracy Hines would have anything for Michael Lewis anyway. Well, it'd be very difficult. I think you're right. He's running the fastest lap time on the racetrack right now. The ninth to first, the white flag will wave next time over Michael Lewis. Fight fading into second spot. Hines is sixth. Well, he, he was second best in the first race. That's too bad he didn't win that thing. He might have had a chance to win this whole thing. He has been just about the fastest car on the track all night, and he will score the second of the Twin 25 tonight at Irwindale. Michael Lewis is the winner. Tracy Hines comes up short. He gets credit for sixth in the second feature. As you say, Larry, though, he passed 10 and then passed 19 cars. He probably passed enough race cars to win that. Yeah. 50, <laughs> he just had to do it twice on the line, that's all. But Michael Lewis scores a popular victory in the second of the Twin 25s tonight here at Irwindale. Lewis from Noblesville, Indiana. Gary Hansen's Fontana Automotive Electronic Chrome Grinding Beast with a Fontana motor and a very strong run 
for young Michael Lewis. Did a super, super job here tonight. You have to feel for Tracy Hines, though, who had a shot at the $50,000 bonus. The spin took away his chance. We'll beat the winner when we come back at Irwindale.